Let's go inside out with our NBA insider, Ian Begley now. Ian, no Derrick Rose, no Alfred Payton. Was this loss to the Spurs simply a matter of the Knicks being shorthanded? You could say that, but San Antonio was also missing a couple of players, LaMarcus Aldrich, Rudy Gay. So neither team was at full strength. And San Antonio was on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. So this was a night where maybe you thought you'd get a little more from Obi Toppin. Maybe you thought you'd get something from R.J. Barrett more than he gave you, where somebody else was going to have to step up here. The Knicks did not have that performance from any of those complimentary guys. And Julius Randle just looked tired. Uh, for much of this game, particularly the second half. So, you know, certainly the Knicks hope they can get things turned around on Thursday, their last game before the end of this first half. Not the way they drew it up, but Frank Nilakina got the start. How did he do with that? And do you see him getting more minutes uh, even when they get some other guys back? You know, I think when Alfred Payton comes back, I, I think Alfred Payton will start. Tom Thibodeau has been, you know, loyal to Payton all season long. I think provided Payton can get back to full strength, I think he will regain the starting position. As far as Nilekina tonight, I thought he played pretty well. Uh, he defended well. He played like Frank Nilekina has played by and large over his, his four years with the Knicks. But he didn't, you know, certainly didn't impact winning. And the Knicks were outscored by a, a high number when he was on the floor. Not that that's entirely his fault, but it's just like Frank had an opportunity here to impact winning, uh, to, to show himself to be more than what the league perceived him to be. And I don't think he took advantage of that opportunity.